Hi, I'm Phil Bliss of Business Visionary. Welcome to Stop, Think, Focus, Execute. I'd like to introduce you to Tuesday Johnson McDonald, great friend of mine and president of TAP Resources. Tuesday, why don't you give everyone a quick profile of who you are and your business and, and a bit more about TAP? Um, I'm a Haudenosaunee woman from the Mohawk Nation, the Wolf Clan. I started uh, TAP Resources about 15 years ago now, 16 years ago. Um, and we are an event management firm that specializes with Indigenous events. So 95% of our clientele, which we call partners, are in, have an Indigenous focus. They're either Indigenous people themselves or they're designing programs targeted to go to the Indigenous people. And I might as well say that 15 years ago we began working together and I helped you planning out TAP resources. I can remember the chemistry at that particular time and we're talking about stop, think, focus, execute. So maybe you can explain the stop and think piece behind TAP resources. I needed a job. <laughs> yeah, that was a good point, yeah. <laughs> and looking at really wanting to to do my own thing and then looking at what the skills that I had, what was I, what could I bring to the table, what was the knowledge, what was the skills. I stopped and refocused on where I really wanted to go, which surprised me to some degree mm -hmm. because I have a policy background and we had a lot of policy and research components that was our forefront when we started, but very quickly changed that focus and started to really focus on the event management side of things. Maybe you can explain a little bit more about how TAP has grown, how you move from that stop and think to the focus and execute uh, of the first, say, five years of the business. Well, the first stop was acknowledging that I knew nothing about business. <laughs> I, come from, I came from policy background, not for profit. The think was, find somebody who knows something about business, focus it, <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> and execute, hire him. Yeah, yeah. And then some of the other pieces, I guess it's, it's just been, I'm a different person. You are. I'm, I'm really you, different you from who I was when I started 15 years ago, and that's because of the stop, think, focus, and execute, and it, it got turned on me internally really quickly. Even in, in the business applications, right, there's been pivotal points in the business over the fifth, last 15 years where things weren't going. So explain a couple of those points. Well, the first point, I guess, when I started the business, as you know, I had three business partners, mm -hmm. and very quickly, within six months, I was on my own. And so it wasn't a really pivotal stop, yeah. think, so focus. That was really when my, yeah. I got involved. Yeah. With, it was yeah. pivotal then to, for me to decide, am I going to go back to work for somebody else, or am I going to do this? For me, at that point, it was a lot of paranoia and a lot of fear. Yeah. Can I do this on my own? Am I smart enough? So many people are expecting me to fail. At least that was in my head, right? right. And so then my stubbornness came out. <laughs> Where I would say I started to focus on, I'm not failing. Yeah. This is not an option. Yeah. Started to focus, where do I want to go? Mm -hmm. What's the vision for 10, 15 years down the road? Mm -hmm. And that's where the event management stuff came in. But you know, in terms of the focus side of it, you've stripped away a lot. so much of the stuff that we had in the plan 15 years ago. Obviously that's happened over a period of time mm -hmm. because the business as it is today was not the business as we wrote up 15 years ago. No. When I stopped and I really started to focus on what it was that I was doing and what I wanted to do, it was a matter of where I could stand out. The event management side seemed to be that and so I started to educate myself. I remember attending my first association meeting um, way back when in my head I'm going, oh my god. I really don't know what I'm doing. I didn't understand the science behind meeting planning. I understood how to put the agenda together, but there's far more to meeting planning than just that. Yeah. A few years ago, you, you came up with this thing called the meeting scout. Yes. I got to believe that was a stop think time. It was. And to deal with competition. I prefer it in your words versus my words. The meeting scout is not a new 
program. There is, it's basically hotel site selections. Lots of companies, big and small, very gigantic companies do nothing but hotel site selection. Um, but what I seen was an opportunity in the marketplace. No one was focusing in on the Aboriginal market. No one was understanding that market and how much opportunity there was. And so I put a cultural lens on it. And when you look at our logo, it's a white wolf. I know it well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A couple of reasons for that is that you know the wolf are responsible to go ahead of the pack and look for dangers, looks for sleeping places, nice mm -hmm. places yeah. to rest, and mm -hmm. that kind of a thing. And I come from the wolf clan too, right? But it took a while, even that, because I launched it, and then I had to stop, rethink, and refocus because I was running into some really unique challenges as I was going to do my sales calls and trying to recruit people into the program. And I probably took it out of market for about a year mm -hmm. to just refocus again and, and get it right. And get it right. I mean that's the whole point about stop and think really. If you don't think strongly enough, the focus and execution that just doesn't pay off. What are a couple of other key moments in the last decade or so where you've hit something and you've had to sort of stop and, yeah. and think about it. I was at my 10 year mark mm -hmm. and the business was was okay but I wasn't I wasn't able to get it over a certain hump and it wasn't that I didn't understand how to do strategic planning so I had to stop and really look to see what that was. I took a, a really intense training session it was focused more on me and overcoming, like as an Indigenous woman who has lived in communities, I have lived through a lot of the social ills that we understand that many of us do in our communities. And carrying those, carrying those around, it really impacts your, your psyche, it impacts your personality, it impacts your belief in yourself, and it was holding me back. Mm -hmm. You know that saying that they say, um, fake it till you make it? Mm -hmm. I was doing a lot of that, <laughs> a lot of faking it till you make it. Mm -hmm. So now, um, that has all changed for me. What's happened in the last three or four years to the business? <laughs> One, we've uh, probably tripled our revenue base. In the last four years? In the last four years. Well, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty that's cool. Pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> We're really successful. Like from, uh, from what, how I define success and what it was that was important to me, mm -hmm. um, very successful. It's really cool, I gotta tell you, it's really cool when people will introduce me and say, this is Tuesday Johnson McDonald, she's from TAP Resources, and people say, oh, you're Tuesday from TAP, we've heard of TAP. And I'm going, yes, that's fantastic. So even the company is known mm -hmm. ahead of me as the individual, right? Okay. Okay. So which is really good, I think. That's great branding. If, you, yeah. if you've moved TAP to that, yeah because it was always Tuesday's company, right. now it's tap. I have people that are coming to me because they, they've learned the reputation, and some of that is just pure branding, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but also the reputation of our delivery style. Being a successful entrepreneurial mm -hmm. woman now, in terms of stop, think, focus, execute, give them a few gems that they should consider in that thought process. Whether they're gems or not, who knows, but, <laughs> <laughs> but for, for me, it really felt, it really was a matter of what was it that I wanted? And I had to define that really clearly for myself. Really focusing in on what does, what does that mean? What am I willing to give up? What am I not willing to give up? And I think that's where we started to, to chip off some of the other pieces, right? Definitely sacrifices, mm -hmm. right, that, mm -hmm. that you make. Yeah. As well, it was identifying the passion. I mean, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, there was paranoia in there. I would hope so. so. Yeah. so a healthy but paranoia think, yeah. is a good thing. Well, know? yeah, because it, it keeps you on your toes, Absolutely. right? Well, Tuesday, I'm going to thank you for coming. Well, thank you. It really is great to see where you began and realizing how far you've come in the last 15 years. It's awesome. And thank you for watching. Stop, think, focus, execute. I'm Phil Bliss. I'll see you next time.